The year was 1970, and New York was the center of a nation fractured by unrest both at home and abroad. But amid the upheaval that divided generations and political philosophies, New Yorkers found a rallying point, and it came in the form of a team that would give this city a season unlike any other. In so many ways, they symbolized the city they represented. They came from everywhere, from every background, a multi-layered tapestry of personalities as diverse as New York itself. Their quiet, dignified captain, their flamboyant but oh-so-cool field general, their blue-collar lunch pail hero, their Rhodes Scholar in residence, their wizened, sleepy-eyed assassin, their unforgettable supporting cast, and guided by a coaching legend who was simply New York through and through. What made the 1969-70 Knicks a very good team was that Red had been the guy who had scouted most of us and he understood and knew us very well as individuals and his ability to get the most out of us was the key. This city had never seen an NBA champion, never known the ultimate victory in the game it claims as its own. But in a world spinning crazily around them, this was the team. And this was the year 1970.